All right, guys, it is a cloudy, sticky, another day in the life here in Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is now Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021, and we are, I am just going back to get back my life, and uh, we have been out making a pole bean frame. This is, good God, the pole bean frame from hell we have made, and we're only one-third of the way there uh good lord but it is a fine looking pole bean frame if anyone wants to learn how to make one of these pole bean frames i think the third biggest video i have ever had on humpty dumpty tribe is uh how to make a pole bean frame and you will find the uh instruction manual on how to uh do this so basically the idea is to get your baby your baby pole beans to uh, climb up these strings and create an entire curtain of beans and uh, that we still got a lot of work to do but uh, man as long as we're out here let's see what the garden looks like here on June 2nd look at our little corn field happy corn we got to get out and find someone to operate a hoe out here in the cornfield. But we have a happy little cornfield. But all is coming up. All right. Man, the... Uh, good Lord, look at the collards. I planted them like three days ago. Okay, the lettuce. The lettuce is up. The collards are up. Can't even remember what this is here. I have I have no memory what this is. Oh, it's spinach. The spinach is up. The uh, the broccoli is up. What were these? Nothing's up over here. Oh, this was cilantro and something anyway nothing going on here yet but we're going to be 90 degrees in a few days and everything is going to explode okay oh the uh cantaloupes the uh there we go it's from small things mama big things one day come we have our first ambrosia cantaloupe coming up so let's see whatever happened to these. These are the 45 cent tomatoes after all of that shit that I went through bringing these things up from Florida. And the 45 cent tomatoes are already blooming. Look at this. These absolutely beautiful little plants. How are my two tomatoes from... Uh... Huh? There you go. These two are going to look at those. We're soon going to have some BLTs from the Florida tomatoes. Oh shit, the peppers are getting bit pretty bad. Uh-oh. We're going to... You know, organic pest control has never been my strong suit. Look at that fine pepper. Man, we are already ready to eat that pepper. Alright, look at these taters. Man, look at those taters. Taters, look at this. Man, I mean, they are ready to get out and get growing. All right, the garlic is popping up. Now, wait a minute. Now, this is onions. The red onions and the white onions are up, but no sign of the yellow onions. All right, I think we have some flowers over here flowers take a while no sign of the zinnias or sunflowers here's the garlic garlic is coming up I just put the okra in a few days ago but it is a fine day in the garden and uh, we're gonna hold at our four-foot fence for a while 
Until we see uh, what kind of predation. Anyway, get out there and enjoy the garden while you still can. And we are off to the lumber mill to get more lumber for the pole bean frame. How many feet are we lacking still? It's 18 feet. 18 feet. But you're saying we can just skip the. Skip the middle. Yeah. Right yeah, 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 yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get four 12 foot two by sixes, and that ought to get us to oh, and the twine. Don't let me forget the twine. I need about a mile of that. But that is one fine looking bean frame. Bye, guys.